Guys, look, it snowed. So I'm gonna get all suited up and go out and show you guys the proper way to shovel your driveway and sidewalk. So here I have a few of the things I'm gonna need in order to go outside. I have my jacket, I have a hat, <laughs> I have a hat and I have some gloves. And then down here, I have some boots. So I'm gonna put all of those things on and then we're gonna go outside. So as I'm putting my jacket on right now, I just want to tell you guys that it's really a personal decision what you want to wear. Now you have to be dressed warm, but what warm means to you is up to you. So when I go outside, I like a nice heavy coat, but some people like a sweatshirt underneath because that'll keep them warmer. But personally, I think that that gets me a little too hot, especially when I'm out shoveling because we're gonna be using a lot of our energy, a lot of muscles. So to have a sweatshirt and a coat on, it gets kind of hot. So one nice warm jacket is enough for me. But like I said, that's up to you to make that decision for yourself. Gotta put my hat on. The ears always get cold. Put my hat, okay. Put my shoes on. You want nice waterproof boots, and I have some warm fuzzy socks on as well. I also just have sweatpants on because we don't want to wear anything nice because it's going to get wet and you're going to be maybe even a little bit sweaty under there. So just throw on some old sweatpants and that'll be good. Get my other shoe on. Okay, and for gloves, I have these special shovel gloves. Um, you don't need these, but I like these because they have a nice grip. You can't really tell in the video, but they're rubber. So if you use regular mittens or regular gloves, sometimes your hand can slip on the shovel, so it can be a little bit difficult to really get a nice grip, but these are great. I'm also gonna grab some salt I have right here in the hallway. So this I'll show you how to use this as well we're kind of running low here but I will show you how to use it okay also I was about to head out but make sure you zip that coat okay because it will get chilly especially if you're like me and chose not to wear a sweatshirt underneath you're gonna need to zip up and again, personal decision, I don't really like a scarf because it gets too much, but depending on how cold it is outside, you might need it. So I'm gonna grab these, grab my salt, and we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm outside. I have my shovel here as well. The first thing I'm gonna tackle is the steps here because I want to make sure I can walk down them to get to the driveway and to the sidewalk. Um, so you kind of just wanna clear as you go. Now, you're going to see in the video that it's kind of already melted a little bit because I didn't do it right away. I wanted to save it until I could make a video for you guys. Um, but it is important to clear it eventually. You should do it right away, um, but just as soon as you can get to it because the snow will eventually melt a little bit and then form ice, which can get really, really slippery. So it's important that we clear all of the snow and slush out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to start. But as you can see, I have both of my gloves on and I'm going to go ahead and start holding my shovel. I like one hand at the top. I'm a righty, so I have my left hand at the top and then I have my right hand, which is my strongest, most dominant hand at the bottom so that I can have leverage when I go to scoop the snow. So I put my, my shovel down on the ground. I, I scoop as much as I can and I have this nice little bit of snow in my shovel, and then I put it to, to the side. I don't wanna put too much snow in my shovel because it may get too heavy to carry, and then you're gonna hurt your back that way. So you just wanna scoop as much as you can, and then put it to the side. Now I'm scooping my front pathway, so I'm just shoveling it onto 
my front lawn. Anywhere out of the walking area is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you an up close view of how to do this. So as you can see, I've cleared most of the sidewalk at this point, but I just saved a little patch so that I can show you. So if I'm taking my shovel, I'm gonna make sure and scoop, okay? And then this is gonna be tricky with a camera in my hand, but I'm gonna pick it up and just put it to the side, okay? Oh, that's like a nice little shovel view. Okay, so we're gonna scoop as much as we can and then pick it up and put it to the side, okay? And I've done that pretty decent amount at this point and I've cleared a nice path. So now we're gonna move on to the driveway, which has a little bit left to do. Before I move on to the driveway, I just wanna show you that this part right here, I don't know, I don't know if you can see it that right there so that's really important that's kind of where my little walkway meets my driveway I want to be sure to shovel that because that's my pathway to my car so if I'm trying to get out in the morning to go to work or if I have to go to the grocery store to, grocery store to get some essentials it's going to be really important that I have a nice pathway to my car and that I'm able to get in my car door and not slip and fall that's key, okay? So I'm gonna shovel that now and then we're gonna get to the driveway. Okay guys, so as I was filming that, I really noticed my form of how I'm holding the shovel. So I just wanted to take a second to show you guys exactly what I mean by like my form and how I'm holding the shovel. I know I showed you in the beginning of the video how I'm holding the shovel up here and I'm getting leverage with my, my dominant hand at the, the mid of the shovel handle. But really what I'm doing is I'm kind of putting my dominant hand um, this side, this leg, so my right leg because it's my dominant hand is my right hand. I'm putting that forward to kind of gain leverage and I'm bending in on that side. So I'm, I'm using my strong side of my body to really push, push into the snow and be able to lift up. And then as I lift up, I come out of that forward bend and that's when I throw it. So really you're, you have to be able to decide which is your dominant side. So which side do you write with? Um, which hand do you use the most? That's gonna be your dominant side of your body and you're really gonna use that in your shoveling. So you're gonna lean in to your dominant side like that, okay? So we're going like that and throwing the snow. Okay, I hope that helped. I'm gonna get to the driveway now. Okay guys, I'm finally to the driveway, so I'm gonna do a quick time lapse and show you how I'm shoveling this. I have a slanted driveway, so I have to keep that in mind um, as I'm shoveling, which means I don't have a flat driveway that I drive right into. I have a hill that I drive up. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit steeper and it's a little bit um, harder. You can slip a little bit, um, but you wanna make sure you have good balance, have good shoes on so that you can gain that traction. Um, if you have shoes that don't have a good um, base on them, you might slip. So just be mindful, there may be ice forming. Um, just, just be cautious of that. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Okay guys, so a few notes from that last time lapse that I just showed. So I don't know if you could tell in the video, but what I was trying to do and what you should be doing when you're shoveling a driveway is go kind of in a path. So you should go down along one side and try to shovel all the way down. And then when you get to the bottom, shovel your way up. And then when you get to the top, shovel down and just kind of make paths as you go. Um, another thing, I know I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I kind of waited to shovel so that I could film this video for you guys. 
Um, but as you could see, I'm kind of having a little bit of difficulty because as I had said, if you wait too long, um, the snow is going to melt a little bit and then form over itself into little ice patches. And I was even slipping a little bit there. So if you do choose to wait um, a little bit after the, the snow first falls, make sure you're being really, really mindful of that possibility of ice. Okay, one other thing, guys, that I did notice as I was shoveling my strong side that I told you about when I was discussing the form of how I'm holding the shovel, my strong side did get a little tired as I was doing this whole driveway. So what I did was I just switched hands, which is totally fine. Um, the form that I choose to use that I showed you before, it's just preference. Like I was telling you in the beginning of the video, it's preference what you want to wear outside. It's preference how you want to hold the shovel. It's just typically easiest if you can hold the shovel with your dominant hand um, closer to the middle of the handle of the shovel. But if you do get tired, feel free to switch hands um, and just feel it out as you go. So the last thing I'm going to shovel is the sidewalk right here. So whatever is in front of your house, you're kind of responsible for taking care of and making sure it's nice and cleared of snow so that any walkers coming by your house don't slip and fall because we wouldn't want that. And then I'm also going to make sure to shovel this little um, curb cut that I have at the end of my driveway because as I'm leaving my driveway, I don't want to scrape the bottom of my car on that curb cut. And also if the plows come down the street, they can kind of um, snow you in a bit. So you wanna make sure it's as clear as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna show you how to salt your, your driveway, your sidewalk, all of that. Okay guys, so I just finished shoveling and I'm going to show you how to salt. Okay, so I'm gonna go and get my salt. I left it up on the porch. I have it right here, okay? And what you wanna do is you just wanna put it down where you shoveled. If there's any slush left or any little bits of snow, it'll be it'll make sure that it melts it and it keeps it from icing over. So this is like an ice melt. Um, mine is pet friendly because I do have a dog. So we want to make sure that if she steps on it and licks her paws, it doesn't make her sick. So just be mindful that if you have a pet, you get a pet friendly ice melt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, okay? Okay, if your hands aren't cold at this point, you can take your gloves off because really the point of the gloves is so that your hands don't freeze while you're shoveling, don't get snow on them, and you know don't slip on the shovel because that shovel with a metal handle can get very, very chilly. Um, so with the snow melt or with the ice melt, I like to just kind of take it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the cap. It has a nice gridded, um, disperse, dis, dispense, that's the word I want, dispense um, system. So it's like a salt shaker, like a giant salt shaker. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna shake it as if we are shaking salt on our food, okay? Or seasoning whatever you put on your food. It's very similar to that. Um, but do not eat this one. So um, it has on the back directions of how to use. So you kind of can just use your best judgment. I just sprinkle a little bit and as I go, I just do like that. Um, but if you wanted to get real precise with it, it does say on the back how to use and tells you how much per square yard um, to sprinkle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then that's about it. And I suggest after you're done um, shoveling your driveway and icing or putting ice melt down, you're gonna wanna go in and get yourself a nice cup of hot chocolate, hot tea, something to warm you up. Okay, make sure you take your snow boots off at the doorway so that you don't track wet snow all throughout your house. But with that, I think that's about it. So thanks for shoveling with me, guys. It's usually pretty lonely out here. So I was really happy to have you along with me. See you next time.